Hello my friends, this is Regular Slasher and thank you for watching my videos as usual. Yeah. In dealing with your friends who take away your Zanshin. What is this so called Zanshin? This is literally translated to lingering awareness. Concretely speaking, as soon as you execute a technique, you don't lose your guard. Even if you win or lose, you do not lose your guard. The mindset at least on paper that the mindset after dealing with a technique or another blow to your opponent um, you are not supposed to be concentrated on the fact that you won or the fact that you lost but your mindset should have been um, who's next what's the next what's the next thing that could happen all right so whenever Yes, this could be one context that Zanshin thing, that this Zanshin thing could be applied in the martial arts world. But how about in real life? When people try to argue that Zanshin can only be applicable inside the dojo, but not necessarily outside of it, um, I think, in my opinion, in my personal experience also, Zanshin is 24-7, right? It's like a video game you have and your character has this passive skill. To me, the Zanshin thing, the Zanshin should be included there. It's like a, there's a toggle switch on and off, but if it really matters to you there's no such thing as an off switch for this zanshin yeah how is this possible this is possible if depending on your support system your friends for example who are a bunch of cornballs that it's easily for you it's easy for you to get emotional and you lose your center losing your center or your personal frame of mind is i think the most dangerous thing it easily loses you robs you of your presence of mind and then you get into accidents or even worse it's because you've been emotional at this point um even in the middle of your presence of mind like driving driving very fast along that highway just because you see that there's no traffic you can speed away as as fast as possible until you see a small turtle on the front and then it's a very last minute you saw that turtle and you try to avoid it and your car tumbled over <laughs> um, at that instance it is too late it's because the complacency that lies there while driving at high speeds just because there's no one in front of you that's one of the examples and translate that to your friendships if your friends are cornballs and then you try to tell them that oh i've been working on this i've been working on a six-pack abs and then your cornball friends are like <laughs> are you trying are you kidding me bro you're so fat today how let alone you can't even get a six-pack let alone you know you can't do it bro because we said so and then their bunch of cornball friends tend to laugh at you at the uh, until the end of the day <laughs> and then the temptation is too strong for you to stay right on track and to retain your zanshin and therefore coupled with the fear of offending people you tend to join them and then forget your goals and plans because you know you're afraid of becoming alone 
and then your original path and purpose has been derailed so that's not a good thing and in this situation how to retain your zanshin is this like I, what I like to do is that early in the morning I like to introspect and that remind myself even what is my what am I here for what am I here for is this just for this it's just for me is it only just for me to impress my friends waving this around and then what I think you get my point there yeah. next in real life Zanshin keeps you from getting complacent in all other aspects of life for example you finally married the woman of your dreams right and then a few years after that you married the woman of your dreams you start to get lazy and fat it's because within your mentality it is okay because it's the marriage loss um, my wife cannot divorce me easily something like that because I finally got her I, I finally locked her in but it's be because you've lost your zanshin you get lazy you get fat you get complacent you're out of your purpose path and purpose in life and then little did you know that your wife starts to disrespect you it's exactly how you keep marriages together by being on your path and purpose I mean if you ask me but if your wife discovers that you are just a directionless individual um, the disrespect will increase you know so one way to prevent that is Zanshin and one way to maintain your Zanshin is to remind yourself of your path and purpose in life whatever that is mine happens to be this I don't know who you are but I'm if you find it helpful just drop in the comments section and then I appreciate your thoughts and I hope and I hope that this will become a healthy discussion for all of us you know um, next oh yes I almost forgot the dojo politics actually this phenomenon called dojo politics is actually like um, something that eats away from the inside inside an organization that it forgets its core values being seduced by this dojo politics is a, not really a good thing because instead of being in the dojo for increase of your skills current skills but what's actually happening is that you maintain to try to please other people you try to please your sensei and you want to maintain your presence by doing little work all right so that's how dojo politics starts and then if you are not careful if you are not being on your zanshin face state um people could easily get derailed by this and then again it is not a good thing all right so long story short i'd like you all to get in your path and purpose in life as early as possible and if you do happen to be a teenager and most of the time your friends will be a bunch of cornballs trying to get you emotional 24 7 trying to get you off track off center um i want you to remember this that you are here for a purpose and yet if you happen to be a teenager you have yet to find this and the job to do it is for you and for you alone yeah. that's it my friends and if you like what you just saw don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and especially if you click the notification bell You'll be the very first person to know that I have uploaded a new video that contains information from me to you 
that could be helpful in the future. Yeah. This is regular slasher sending off. Thank you. Much love. And domo arigato gozaimashita. Yeah. And cut.